What's up everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at a spreadsheet build that I did for a small candle company that helps them with their calculations that are necessary for making scented candles. Now full disclosure, this was my wife's business and you should totally check it out, especially if you're interested in outdoor adventure themed products. It's called Outbound Candle Co. The whole mission here is to have that cozy simple moment after you get home from that big adventure or trip. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. But I love these types of projects because they always teach me about something that I did knew nothing about. And hopefully it can help other people who have small businesses in the candle space or similar spaces. So let's check it out. So here we are, and the whole purpose of the sheet is to assist with those calculations needed for making scented candles. And the main components of that is what is the total sort of capacity of the vessel you are intending to pour, and how do you work out how much wax that actually is against how much fragrance oil needs to be in there. And that's where the math is not complicated, but can feel a little tricky, right? So let's fill out a few of these uh, parameters and we'll, we'll show you how it works. So let's start with the total sort of capacity you intend to pour. And I say it like that because it's not just the total wax you're putting in there or the total fragrance oil. That is the sort of end number you wanna hit, right? So if we know we wanna pour eight, let's say ounces into a vessel and we want to load that with a certain percentage of fragrance oil. So we want 10% of that to be fragrance oil. We can put 10 in there. Uh, and then we will say it's just one candle for now. Now what that's gonna do is show us how much wax we actually need and how much fragrance oil we actually need because the 10% of the eight isn't saying we're gonna put 10% of that in there because that would bring us over our total of eight ounces. So we actually need to know how much of the wax and the oil add up to eight at the level of 10% of it being fragrance oil. So this one works out nicely. 10% is an easy number. We can see that the wax and 10% of the wax, you know, move that decimal over one. That checks out visually. And if we add them up, we see it adds up to eight if we look down here. So that works, right? Perfect, great. And we know now that we can just scale this up by putting however many candles we want in there and it'll tell us the total you need of everything. So really great, really simple for that sort of one fragrance oil, one candle situation or scaling up a little bit, right? Now, because not all scales uh, work the same, maybe they're only in ounces, maybe you're working in grams, maybe your vessel's listed some different way, right? We can do some conversions here with the units. So if you wanna to convert to um, another unit, we can just click that button. We can go to grams pretty easily and it shows the, the now weight in grams. Um, but I know my wife's scale is actually in pounds and ounces once it gets over a pound. So we have a special conversion from ounces, because that's what her jars are normally in, to the pounds and ounces. So this is actually a great way to bridge that gap between what sort of your vessels and your scales and all those things are saying and then what the math is actually doing. So you don't have to worry about converting, calculating, estimating, anything like that. That's exactly what you would need to make four candles, each vessel being a total of eight ounces and a 10% fragrance load on each of those candles. So taking it one step further, maybe you're not just using a single scent, maybe you're blending scents. So optional on this right hand side here, we can talk about how we can calculate now out of the fragrance oil, what would each scent be if I was blending it. So if I'm blending two scents, I can evenly, I can put a two in here and we would see that's how many ounces and also in the pounds and ounces uh, you would need to to evenly blend of each of those scents, right? So scent one would be 1.45 ounces, scent two would be 1.45 ounces. And so to validate that, 1.45 times two will give you this 2.9 ounces over here. And then one step further, you made this super awesome custom scent blended from all these different fragrance oils and it's not evenly split up like that. So we can work down here, label our scents, and we can put what percentages of that total scent profile you're breaking it out at. Okay, so that checks out. It adds up to 100%. That means all of the ounces or the pounds and ounces add up to the correct amount that should um, give you the right fragrance load per wax. The little check down here is that if you 
did not enter the right number, it would tell you that you either don't have enough or you have too much. So if we only put 5% here, it would say you're missing something because it's not at 100. And if we were to put too much in here, it would also say you're missing something because it doesn't add up to 100. So just a great way to check yourself before you start pouring or before you start mixing things. So that's it. I hope this was super helpful. There will be a link in the description of this video for you to get this exact sheet and make a copy for you to use for your business or for whatever you need to. Steal a formula from it for something else, anything. I would also love to know what you guys need out of sheets for your small businesses. So leave a comment down there, subscribe, like, all those things, and have a great day.